For any blockchain network to be useful, there needs to be one dependable list of records that everyone agrees on. A consensus mechanism sets the rules on how this agreement is reached. So who chooses which transactions go in the next block? Blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum use mechanisms like proof of work to choose which node can propose the next block. In such systems, a single node wins the right to propose a new block of transactions by competing to solve a cryptographic puzzle. Geek runs on a totally new consensus mechanism called Proof of Honesty, or POH for short. Unlike other blockchains, there are no special rights for proposer nodes. Instead, every node has to play by the same rules in a system that separates powers. Here's the journey of each successful transaction on Geek. On Geek, transactions are broadcast differently than on other blockchain networks. Every Geek chain is served by an independent network of nodes, and each node takes a turn to act as the hub node for one block. The hub node has no special privileges. This hub and spoke system is simply a faster and more efficient way to broadcast transactions than the gossip networks used by other blockchains. In the first part of the transaction's journey through Geek, the user selects a node and requests a proof of honesty. Once verified, the transaction is sent to the node. Afterwards, the node groups it together with other candidate transactions received over the past few seconds into a node transaction bundle, NTB. Up to now, all that has happened is the user has sent their candidate transaction to the node, the node bundles all the requests it gets into a node transaction bundle, the NTB, and each node then sends their signed NTB to the hub, and the hub bundles all the NTBs, including its own, into a hub transaction bundle, HTB for short, and then sends the entire signed HTB back to each node. No validation occurs until every node has the same total set of candidate transactions. Each node, including the hub node, separately evaluates each transaction in the HTB independently on their own without any influence from the other nodes. In this way, every honest node independently writes its block and arrives at the same current ledger state, CLS for short. And this is where all valid transactions reach the end of its journey, appearing on the ledger of every honest node in the network. If the transaction is invalid, however, this is the end of the road. It will not appear on any of the honest ledgers. And that's the story of a transactions path on Geek.